attacks on baguettes. I'm just feeding you the stories. Maybe this is The Context. The Context, tomorrow from 8pm on BBC News and iPlayer. Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Arunodaya Mukherjee. Let's get you the headlines. Yeah. A space capsule carrying the largest asteroid sample ever collected lands safely in Utah, which could shed new light on how planets were formed. France will end all military cooperation with Niger and withdraw its ambassador and several other diplomats within hours following a coup. The Spanish town shaken after fake naked images of local girls generated by artificial intelligence are shared. And host China topped the medal table after the first day of the Asian Games in Hangzhou. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. Welcome to the program. Now, the impossible became possible. That's how the head of NASA described an extraordinary mission to retrieve a capsule containing fragments of an asteroid on Sunday. Now, the capsule had traveled a billion miles to land on the asteroid named Bennu before returning safely to Earth earlier on after seven years in space. Scientists are now in the process of examining the sample, which they hope is 250 grams of rock and dust from the surface, and they say it could explain how life on Earth began. The retrieval of the capsule happened in the U.S. state of Utah, from where Rebecca 